Police are searching for a hit and run driver who killed a woman on the northeast side of town last night. She was driving east on Bell when the driver of a Tahoe ran a stop sign on your lane and slammed into her. News 4 San Antonio's Lauren Lee joins us live from the scene with more information about this accident. Lauren? That car was hit so hard, it was actually pushed two houses down from the intersection. And you can follow the tire tracks through this front yard and see where that car ended up. The homeowners tell me they have seen way too many accidents and near misses out here. Life is so fragile. You just don't know what's going to happen one, from one minute to the next, you know. It only took a second. We were preparing to watch the Oscars, and next minute we're here. We were out here till 2 o'clock in the morning. And hours later, evidence of that deadly accident still litters Rita Soto's front yard. My son just can't get over it. He says, Mom, I saw her. I saw her. You know, he's, I, you know, I can't believe she's gone. She is the woman who was driving this Honda sedan. Police say the driver of a Tahoe sped through a stop sign on Ur Lane and collided with her car last night after 8 o'clock. The impact pushed her car 165 feet, and they ended up in Soto's yard. The victim, 33-year-old Giovanna Iguia Rodriguez, died at the scene. It's terrible. I just feel for her family. And I found her glasses after we were sweeping up. Soto's own truck couldn't escape the damage, and this is the second time her yard has turned into a crash site. She's seen many others run the same stop sign. Last Saturday, we had a garage sale, and and um, a car ran the stop sign, and, and they were laughing, young, two young boys laughing because they, they almost hit a car and the car honked at them. The driver behind this destruction didn't stick around last night. Soto thinks it's time for that person to turn himself in. You, know, you took a life. How can you just, you know, hide or that's somebody's life, somebody's daughter, somebody's, you know, maybe a mother. We checked with police and found out there have been eight minor accidents at this intersection within the last two years. And once that driver is caught, he will face a failure to stop and render aid charge. Reporting live on the northeast side, Lauren Lee, News 4, San Antonio.